What's up guys? Today we are starting season 3 of Breaking Bad. So, last season was a bit. Last episode, a lot. Jane died. Jessie found her body. Paramedics came to take her. Her dad saw her. Sad as fuck. But Walt, you know, pretended like he had nothing to do with anything because it was part of his plan. And you know what happened? Jesse went into like a depression and is now doing a lot of drugs and was left in a place thing. Haven't seen him since. What happened to my dude? I don't know. We're gonna see in this episode, probably. But at the end of the episode, we saw that Jane's dad caused a plane crash. And that's what was like falling from the sky, you know. That's what had to do with like the little stuffed bear thing in Walter's pool. And, you know, I never would have thought it would have been Jane's dad, but you know what? Shit happens. But, now that I know what actually happened, like, where that bear thing came through, like, where it came from, I don't know what to question anymore. People are already telling me that the bodies that I was questioning, that's just random people. So, I don't even have to question that anymore. So, I don't even know what to expect this season. I just want to see... What happened with Jesse actually? So I guess let's get into the episode. Just drove around that man, didn't try and help? Walking past, they don't care about this dude. So a lot more people are crawling, and for what? I still don't see anyone I recognize. And you just join in what is happening. That place reminds me of Tuco's place. Is that not Tuco's place? And they just like, it just tore down and got turned like into a thing. I don't know. I don't think it would be unless by some miracle it is, but I'm guessing not now. Is that going to be like a drawing of Walter right next to him? So what does that even mean? Like, that looked like a place of worship in a way. So are they worshiping him? But why? I'm guessing it's set in the future because he still has to build his reputation. It was just um, bump, bump, bump all over the neighborhood. Indicating that the final death toll now stands at 167. So many people died. Or his fateful mistake. Nombre which del hombre is Donald Margolis. Donald Margolis, a 19 year veteran of the FAA's air route traffic control. They are revealing that man's identity? I didn't think that they'd do that. Why are you wasting those matches? You know what? I totally forgot. Skylar left. I should have mentioned that in the intro, but you know what? I forgot.
you're gonna light that money up. Now looky here. What was the point of everything else? You did you did all that shit to get that money and you're burning it? How are you gonna get how are you gonna use that money now? You're gonna have to let that shit air dry and hope that it doesn't ruin. Well, you definitely wanna maintain residency in your actual home. It just puts you in a better position in regards to custody. Two children you Oh, I didn't realize she was doing a custody thing. Shit. What about other debts or assets? Do you feel you have a good understanding of you and your husband's financial situation? Apparently not. Honest accounting of what it is they owe and what it is they own. To that end, I say, let's leave no stone unturned. So they're gonna start digging into Walter's like stuff like with his financials and everything and that's just gonna make it even harder because like yeah his money is not in his bank account and it's like cash at his house but like I don't know Of course, you're still pulling out money from your pool because you decided to set your money on fire. And where's the money? Is Hank gonna see it? Hey, Walt. Hey, hey buddy, there you are. Listen, I, uh, you know, well. Why are you hiding the eyeball? Yeah, you regroup, and then, you know, absence. Makes the yeah. Are you sure that would work, Hank? Cause you don't know the shit that they've been going through. Jesus. What do you got in there? Send her blocks. Just don't look inside. Half million in cash. <laughs> That's the spirit. See? He told the truth and they think he's lying. You know, oh fuck. I was quite scared for a second because I'm like, what if he actually does look and see? Like, what's gonna happen then? He's gonna get questioned. Hell yeah, Jesse, do that gardening. Okay, so you look fine. In a way. See, that's your first mistake. You should be here to learn self-acceptance. Jesse looks so young. It's so weird. Hey, Dad, it's me. No, I'm, I'm not okay. I, I don't know what the hell's going on. Nobody's telling me jack shit around hey, here. Flynn. I feel so bad for him. It's a shitty situation. Uh, Alright, I'm here. See you soon. I wonder why he's being like that with her. Like, is it something like really against her? So they contacted him again. I thought it was a one done in like one done in thing, like why now? May I have your attention please? As all of you know, last week our city suffered a terrible tragedy. One that none of us will ever forget. So he's cutting it like how he used to cut it for duty held captive in season one. Hearing that, that sound, that boom. 
does Walt feel guilty in a way? Because it's like, if you think about it, if he didn't let Jane die, then Jane's dad would have been fine, you know? And, a, and like, in a good mental state for work. But then, I don't know. Maybe we should hear from the faculty. Certainly this tragedy didn't only affect our students. They're gonna talk to Walter. Full. You know, the, the 737 was, was what? Uh, maybe two thirds full, I believe, right? Yes? Or maybe even. He sounds like he's trying to justify it in a way. And it's like, yes, I get it. There wasn't that many people, I guess. But, you know, it still happened. Big. A 747 is. I mean, it's way bigger than a 737. And we're talking about two of them. Nearly 600 people died. Everyone looks so uncomfortable. Move on. And just move on. And we will too. We will move on and we will get past this. Because that. I don't know if some. Like, they shouldn't have given Walter the mic. We survive. We survive and. Okay. I feel like he really did that for his own sake to try and probably like quiet his own mind because I do kind of feel like he does think it's his fault or maybe I'm tripping but you never know especially with Walter so this can't be a future thing unless like I don't like the thing from earlier I thought it could possibly be like in the future but with this right now I guess it was kind of in the present but I didn't think it would be because I didn't think he like he was as known you know Why did I think they were about to kill it? Like, not the kid, like the goat? I think that's the goat. But still, this is weird. They haven't even said a word. I, I guess. Well, you make sure you say hello to her for me, will you? Why don't you just come inside? It's your house. Not anymore. I know it's especially tough for him since he is not a kid and he does still like barely have any understanding of what's going on but I mean he could understand but also not understand at the same time like the baby has no idea what is happening why, why you gotta be like this why can't you just talk hey, even hey, hey. She's also been put through some hard stuff with Walter, so it's like, it's understandable as to why she is acting the way she is, but she can't exactly tell Walter Jr. that. Do I just keep calling him Walter Jr. or should I start calling him Flynn? I feel weird calling him Flynn, but... Good enough for what? Not good enough to be what? President of the United States? Well... Okay, so maybe you're not that good. But now, are you good enough to deserve your share of... Jesse, we never hear from you. What's going on? You can tell me I'm full of shit. It's okay, I don't mind. I'm surprised he hasn't, because that's usually his personality, but... I don't just mean disappointed in your mother or whatever, but did you ever really hurt someone. I killed my daughter. 
I was not expecting that. I was about to say Jesse has a point to asking that question, but then you never know what happens. July 18th. That's the day before my birthday. She's my six-year-old daughter. She's playing at the end of the driveway. No. You hit her on accident? It just made it that much worse. Self-hatred, guilt, it accomplishes nothing. So maybe now, Jesse won't want to do that shit anymore. Skylar. Is this a good time to talk? That is the last person I thought that would be at his door. Okay. Maybe she's doing it for Walter Jr.'s sake. I don't know. Do you want to start? You seemed like you were just about to start, Walt. And I thought you were. You know, I was going to hand it to you. I don't know how I feel about that, though. But... Why, why are you doing this? Why are you even thinking this way? Is it to punish me? Oh, wait, is it the custody paper thing? Is what this is. We are happily married. Ugh. I am happily married. I am happy. But she is not. Because of your actions and the lying. Side to this thing. There's your side and there's my side and you haven't heard my side yet. You haven't heard any of it at all. Because you... How'd you know? Cocaine? I can't believe he's admitting. Amphetamine. I really can't believe he is admitting. Children, or anybody else, nobody will hear it from me. But only if you grant me this divorce and stay out of our lives. No, Scott. I mean it. That's the deal. Shit. So she's not going to give him up unless... He doesn't sign the divorce papers. Your windshield's broken. <laughs> no shit, Sherlock. <laughs> My fuck. Saul has got it for you. And so as soon as you're feeling better... I'm better. You're better. Really? Are you sure about that? Could it help? Yeah. I'm done using. I really hope you mean that, Jesse. I really do. In spite of how bad things got, it really could be looked at like a wake-up call for both of us. I mean, you know, just to get our... Jesse's about to quit. Why do I have that feeling? I feel like he's about to be done with it. I'm not responsible for this. Not in any way, shape, or form. All right? Now, I, I am very up-to-date on this thing. Probably far more than you are. See, it's like he says that to Jesse, but he still won't come clean that he did it. But again, that would put him in a bad position. And he's already in so many bad positions. I accept who I am. And who are you? I'm the bad guy. You cannot let him keep thinking this way about himself, Walter. He's going through so many things because he thinks it's his fault. When you could have helped her, but then you didn't. And look at the situation you're in now. I'm done. It has nothing to do with you personally. So, he's gonna try and quit and not gonna be able to? I am not a criminal. 
No offense to any people who are. But you are, Walter. You already did all the shit. It won't change my mind, I'm sorry. Three million dollars for three months of your time. Looks like it's changing your mind right now. And you see, you're gonna say three months and you're done. And you know what? There's gonna be another three months and then you're gonna keep going. What I don't have is my family. The answer is still no. So what's going to change his mind then? Because I feel like sooner or later, he's going to be like, okay. So what's it going to be? Qué chida las botas, eh? Oye, pero estas no son para el trabajo. ¿Qué tiene la punta? Un poco de plata. I feel like he was about to get kicked in the face or something. He seems like he recognizes the it like what happened, okay. Did they just kill them all? And they're gonna shoot that dude. I don't know why I had the feeling he was about to shoot that dude, but they seem to be cool, so I guess not. And you weren't blown away by that by one bit? See, I've got so much to question. Like, love this episode. It was a good intro to a new season. I wish there was more scenes with Jesse, because they did show a lot of Walt, and I get it, Walt's the main character, but Jesse's also a main character, and I want to see what's happening with him more. But you know, we got what we got, and I'm not mad about it. Jesse seems to be doing like a little bit better, but he still seems guilty. And again, Walt is still letting him believe like all the other shit, even though he's still trying to tell him like, none of this is your fault, but also, and it's not, but he just won't tell him how it's not his fault because he's not going to believe him until he actually says something. But then that's the thing. If he tells him, they're not gonna he's not gonna want to be partners with Walter anymore and Walt doesn't want that but then Walt was also just talking about being done so I mean if he does tell him I guess he still wants them to be like friendly I don't know it's just confusing Walt seems to be racked up with guilt like I think I'm right from earlier he is racked up with that shit because of like killing Jane leads to her dad feeling like that leads to him bam plane crash it's a whole big thing but it's like his whole family situation i feel bad but then also what do you expect skylar finally like she's like i'm done with this i don't want to feel like this no more and he's basically telling her that he's happy in his marriage but it's like she's not happy in hers you keep doing shit that's making her question shit and it's like now she doesn't even have to question anymore because now she knows that you're a drug dealer and you know what now she wants a divorce and most likely custody of the kids and she's gonna hold over the fact that she knows you're a drug dealer so it's like you're not winning in any situation walt the only situation that's gonna happen is you're gonna go to jail if you don't do something right or maybe not i don't know but I just want to know also who the two dudes are. They haven't spoken a word. They crawled at the beginning. They're, they killed people at the end. 
they they're in texas they blew up a thing what's gonna happen in texas because i know they are in new mexico i think they're there the other dudes are in texas what's gonna happen how are they gonna end up meeting walt because i feel that's gonna happen because they look like they were worshiping the dude earlier how what's gonna lead to that or maybe you know what maybe it kind of was a thing set in the future because it's like if not it, it would have seemed like walt would have been done but obviously i feel like he's about to take that deal with the other dude i don't know i can't guess with this show it's like it's like i try and i end up being wrong and it's kind of funny how i'm wrong but i'm actually trying to like come up with something that could possibly happen and i can't but that's okay i just i just want to know what's up with them like there's so much happening, like, already. Even though it was, like, it was just one episode and I feel like so much is starting to happen. And I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. Walt may freaking take the deal with the other dude. Like, I feel like he's going to. Because it's more money and shit. So you never know. But I'm ready to see what's going to happen with the rest of this shit. So I guess come back for episode two. 